Chris Saunders is Worldwide Director of Public Sector Solution Engineering at Wiz. Chris, welcome. Thanks for joining me today. One of the things we talked about before we got rolling here is the risk management framework situation that agencies are in with cybersecurity. That's a different way of thinking about cyber for them than historically has been, isn't it? Yeah, so uh, I think what we, we traditionally see from RMF, the intentions were really good. It was meant to reduce your security risk. Unfortunately, what I think it's turned into is a checkbox. Mm. And a lot of the assessing of security is done through the lens of CVEs. You must fix all your CVEs, all your vulnerabilities in order to get your, your ATA or account for them. Industry does not do this. Industry looks at risk from a very different lens. They want to understand what puts me at risk right now of being hacked or owned or infiltrated. Um, and they prioritize that versus things that cannot be exploited, cannot be hacked. If they have two hours in the day, they're gonna focus on those high priority risk items and not force everyone to fix every vulnerability. Government needs to move away from those ZVE risk-based assessments, point in time assessments, to a more modern approach of assessing your risk by prioritization of what leaves you most susceptible to an attack. Mm -hmm. How will that help agencies as they're trying to connect IT modernization and transformation efforts that they're undertaking, the security, addressing vulnerabilities as you just described, all these other things that they're trying to take on? Yeah, I think as you're building more cloud native architectures and applications, leverage, leveraging Gen AI, um, everyone wants to get there but there's always the security reviews you have to go through. And security teams are not expanding. They're not adding more employees, they're not adding more resources, they're not scaling those. So, but you have to keep risk in mind as you're assuming these new services. So you have to evolve your maturity model. You have to be able to democratize security. Mm -hmm. Everyone should be looking at the same sheet of music. We shouldn't have individual teams with individual scanners looking at different factors of risk, everyone should be on the same page. Uh, this will really help scale security, allow the teams to self-serve the same information of risk and prioritize within their domain, what do I need to fix today? Dev team has theirs, security team has theirs, but we're all using the same single point of data, not different tools, different scanners, different feeds, different speeds. We're all on the same page. And that's how they can accelerate that modernization is when they can prioritize risk based on the same information. Mm -hmm. Is the definition of cyber resilience changing as the things that agencies are trying to protect changes? More data, different types of data, applications like AI and LLM and others. Is that changing the way that agencies define or at least think about the concept of cyber resilience? I think it forces them to. Mm -hmm. You know, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, when I got into IT, we did releases of software monthly basis. At the time that was considered like pretty fat, mm -hmm. but now folks want to release software at will any time of day. If you're going to get to that state, you have to look at things differently. You have to start leveraging modern technology like AI. You have to bring the RMF process to a more modern state like you are trying to do with the workforce, with your developers, with these applications, uh, it needs to move at the same speed. Mm -hmm. We can't be stuck in the legacy way of doing security that the government has been doing for the last 30 years. It has to change or we're gonna be stuck behind. We're not gonna be able to meet the needs of the citizen. We're not gonna be able to keep up with China and the other uh, countries we have to deal with on a global domain. We have to be able to innovate and modernize RMF as much as we do how the workforce works and consumes IT. Chris, it's great to talk to you. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you.